Hi guys. Happy a uh, beautiful and blessed Wednesday to everybody. I do hope everybody is having a fabulous week. It is hump a day. So everybody take your favorite person and hump their leg. <laughs> oh boy. Guys, this was given to me. Look how dope. Look at this. Right? It was given to me with a whole bunch of other nice stuff. Okay? I just want to make sure these guys are in frame. I should have I should have um hooked it up before I started, but I didn't. But I'm here now. For all those guys that are new, if this is your first time watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome to everyone. I am Marisol. If this is the first time that you are watching and you like my video, please consider liking, subscribing, hitting the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever I make a video. Please uh, share my videos uh, with uh, your daily friends uh, so that you can help my channel grow. If you have a channel of your own, please let me know in the comment box so that I can go check you out. For all my rattle daughters, what's up? What's up? What's, what's, what's up? What's up? What you doing? How you doing? What's up? What's up? What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? So today, guys, I don't know how to act because this morning, two of my videos loaded. I was like, whoa! YouTube is giving me a little bit of freedom. They're letting me rock and roll. I was like, uh-uh. We're going to do a video every freaking day now. Every day we're going to do a video. But today, guys, I have your niece chocolate drop. Mama, see that? Look at that chocolate. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. She smells so good. She smells like baby powder. She is the, she is the June. A, a little bit of mama saliva always works. You know, guys, come on, stop playing. So I could put saliva on my baby because mama loves you. This is the June, three-month-old June. Okay, I, I got her not, uh, she hasn't been a month in my collection, so she is fairly new. She is such a so. I love, I love, I love. I know I say I love all my babies. I know it's getting a little played out. But I don't give a damn. I love my babies. I can't help it. I can't help it. I can't help it. Okay? I can't help it. This little uh, bundle of joy, I adopted from my beautiful Dolly sister, Tempest. Um, She has a YouTube channel, guys. You can go over to her channel. Her channel is a uh, Twinkle Twinkle Tempest Reborns Nursery. Yes, that's a Twinkle Twinkle a Tempest Reborns Nursery. I got that right. I can't believe it, guys. I had to repeat it twice because oh, what the hell, right? So today, guys, I have this little baby. So like I said, I adopted her not too long ago. She hasn't been in my collection for um. She hasn't been in my collection. A whole month yet, I believe, or just about a month, maybe. I don't think it's a month yet, but she is absolutely stunning. Okay, I love, 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 love her. Uh, she was painted by Sherry Rinkins. Um, I know a lot of you guys you see uh, the you see um her art, and you can tell. I can kind of sort of just about tell her art now, and I do have the seven month old june asleep that is this same baby at seven months and then my three-year-old june will be this same baby at three-year-olds but it's different artists my um seven month old uh baby is um done by the same artist and i only wish that i can have her done at three years old but um i feel that sherry rinkins um gets her coloring um, this chocolate color, beautiful. I think that her work is very, very nice. Um, uh, but she's, I do love her work and her art. Um, but sometimes she tends to be a little bit overpriced for me. I mean, she's good. She's good. But if I'm going to pay 
super super high end money like that i feel that i i'd rather just get it from a, a a more prestige artist that's just that's just me guys that's just me not to say that i do not like her work i love her work i love her coloring i think she's uh she's very very um very very talented and good and she's doing the damn thing but um i just that's just how i feel i feel like this um if i'm gonna pay let's say a thousand five hundred dollars I'd rather just go to Julie, uh, Jody Slayer or, you know, some other, some other artists. But I was fortunate to get this little baby from, um, from, uh, Tempest. And it's so, it's so fantastic because like I said, my seven month old is from the same artist. And as you guys can see, she attempts to do, um, birthmarks. Let me see if I could get her. Can we see that birthmark right there? So it's it's on her let me see it's on her left arm in her inside in uh, inside her her arm and my seven month old june has the same birthmark on the same arm so that's kind of like really really cool so um yeah so we're gonna change this little girl today she's so cute she also has a little birthmark on her nose she is so adorable. I absolutely love her. And I'm super, super blessed to have her in my nursery. So today we're going to give her... We are going to give her a little a dress. And we're going to keep her a little bit fancy. So we're going to give her this little dress. It's a pink and blue little dress. It's really, really cute. It's got... um, what, uh, It's kind of like a lacy... Um, uh, it's like lined like over the dress with uh, like lace lacy material um it's really pretty and it has the diaper cover in pink and then we're going to give her these little pink ruffly socks i think the socks are going to be too big i brought out two choices of shoes which would be these that are a bit big on her and then these are big but they look a little bit um tighter more um fit it on her so it's either or from these two pairs um and we're gonna give her i'm gonna give her this little blue bow it's not quite the same blue but we're not gonna crack open or move we're not gonna move mountains for a uh, same matching bow it's not that serious and we're gonna give her this flower diaper this honest diaper and that's gonna be her outfit for today but I really don't even want to take her out of this outfit because she looks so freaking stinking cute. And this little girl smells so good. She smells like baby powder. She really does. Um, I don't know if it's something that Tempest sprayed on her or if she has a baby wafer on her. I don't know what it is, but Mama Sita is smelling so, so beautiful. She smells so good. So, yeah, so today guys um i'm gonna today's another day that i'm just gonna stay home the weather's definitely changing out here in new york it's um it's that fall weather it's not cold but it's not of course you know we all know it's not summer no more but um new york you know we have the seasons the different seasons and it's it's getting cold it's getting cold it's coming it's a coming it's a coming but um, I'm just going to just chill at home. I think I'm going to, I think, I'm not sure if I'm going to start painting today. I do have so many kits that I have to paint. Um, I do have a custom that um, I believe I have to get my butt paint starting it, I think. I'm not sure. But um, I got to see. I got to see what I'm going to do. Um, I I have to also put together the doll that I did, the Maylee scope. I finished her, so I have to put her together. I'm going to um ask my girlfriend Michelle to help me with that because I do. Oh, she has a baby wafer. She has a a a, a wafer. She's waited so nice. Then I just say she. Yep, that's what she smells like. You know what, guys? I'm going to order a shitload of these. I've seen them at um on Amazon. 
and they're dirt cheap so i'm gonna definitely i'm gonna definitely get some of those so that i could incorporate them in um my doll's pampers and when i also like sent out my babies so i can just you know give the mommies some just in case if they want to put it in the baby's diapers as well i love the way this baby is weighted she is so freaking stinking cute my babies drive me crazy guys like oh my gosh i'm just love 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 my babies and you think that right that i'm baby crazy and i'm freaking out i'm i'm really allergic to babies i don't i'm not a grandmother and i'm sure that that will probably of course i'm gonna be a loving mother a grandmother you know i'm gonna love my grandbaby but i i'm not gonna be one of those grandmothers that want my baby around me all the time like i really i i don't i don't foresee that at all happening <clears throat> i feel like babies are so needy and they just like cry and they need all this love and attention i mean love is without a doubt you know but um i don't want to do the baby stuff i really i don't i don't i don't want to do the baby stuff like i i go to like you know every time i go to marshall's of course i'm i'm in the baby section that's what i go to marsh i go to most of these stores that i go to is to go to the baby section right and a lot of times you have these moms and they got these like, crying kids and they just ignoring the damn kid screaming throughout the store and i just want to turn around and punch the mother right in the face that's what i want to do i want to turn around and smack the mother right in the face and just be like shut the damn kid up you know because my kids honestly guys my kids and never ever did that like ever my kids did not do that at all at all like i really my kids were very well mannered very well mannered okay um I didn't, I didn't, I didn't go for none of that. Uh-uh, that was not allowed. You know, that was not allowed. Not in my book. But these mothers, like, they just think it's okay to ignore the kid screaming. Like, yo, shut your damn kid up. Like, why are you having kids if you can't, you know, if you can't, like, control it or, like, you know, you can't just ignore your freaking crying kid in the stores. And I'm like, what the heck? You know, and it's not the kid's um, fault because, you know, the kids don't know any better because the mom is ignoring them. So you can't ignore the problem. You got to, like, get to the root. You got to figure it out. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, little June. I don't know. So I don't really, um, I did, I, you know, this. Uh, <sighs> Look at how cute she looks, guys. As soon as she looks stunning. It's a lot of work taking care of babies. And I just don't want to be around little babies. Like, I don't. I was a babysitter for many years. I babysat. I mean, I could babysit. Like, I think, I feel that I can babysit because that's just a couple of hours. And then, you know, the baby goes home. I could definitely babysit. That's not a problem. I can do that. You know, but being around, like, all the time around a baby, no, I don't want to. I like my reborns. They don't cry. They don't poop. You don't have to, you know, cater to them all the time. You know, if I were to be a babysitter, it will be by choice, and it will be, you know, only a couple of hours a day. So, that's why I'm saying I could babysit. You know, I wouldn't mind that because the baby goes home, and then at the end of the week... I was get paid, you know, so I could buy another doll, of course. But um, I don't know how I like these shoes. It kind of looks she like a little, little old lady with these. But I think I'm gonna leave them on because she has such a tiny foot. So um, let me see how these look. Um. So that's why, you know, when, when I babysat, uh, it was a couple of years back. Maybe these. They look really, really big. But I think, although they're big, they look better than, than these. I don't think that those are meant to go with socks. Um, a couple of years ago, I babysat my friends. Um, he's like my brother. I love the whole entire family. I know them for many, many, many years. I love them all. I feel like um, I am part of their family. 
So I babysat their, uh, my friend's Naf, cause he's like my brother. His niece started working at a dentist office. She was a receptionist and she started working and she, her daughter was a baby. And you know, I mean, guys, I, guys, I don't blame them. Like, I don't think that I, I my, first of all, my mom was the only one that ever, ever babysat my kids at all. Like at all, for anything, nobody ever babysat none of my kids. So I do get it. I do get it. You can't leave your baby just for anybody. So I do. I do get it a thousand percent. And um, like I said, um, I they, it, we're like families. They're like my family. You know, they know my family. I know their family. And for many many years, so they they knew that I was good money. You know, for baby. You know, good candidate basically for babysitting that beautiful baby, which is now very. Um, she i think this was like nine years ago i'm gonna say like nine years ago so yeah so i babysat her and she i mean she was she was a happy go baby i mean she was she was no 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 trouble whatsoever and it was just like monday through friday and then you know the mom was still young she's um happily married now but she was still very young at the time and Every now and then, of course, when you're young, you want to um, kind of break away, go go out, you know, a night or two. She wasn't doing it frequently, but every now and then she would ask me if I could uh, sit overnight, like, so she could go out. And I wouldn't mind because, um, you know, the baby was sleeping most of the time. And um, I didn't mind. I didn't mind. She was she was a beautiful baby to, to a babysit. But that being said, look at this baby. This baby's not gonna wake up. She's not gonna bother, dude. But look at how pretty she is, guys. Isn't she stinking cute? She's so sweet, like a little princess. Oh, mama. I love this passy, but I just love her little lip. You know, she's like got suck her. She got her little um bottom lip sucked in, and I love that. But yeah, guys, that's my video for today. Nice and short, 17 minutes, 18 minutes. Um, I think I'm going to start doing just really quick changing videos and just quick chat with you guys. So then this way you guys can um, get to see, you know, my babies and enjoy my babies. I do want to change um, my um, Amira, which is my Alexa asleep, my little snowflake. I need to change her. So I think I'm going to come back on and I'm going to change her in another video um, or maybe... You know what? I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to set her up and I'm just going to change her. Okay? Be right back. Okay, guys. So, I am back with little Amira. Amira is so sleepy all the time. Her hair is all messed up because she has like this fantastic hair. And, um, you know, when, when you lay her down, it just like fluffs all over the pillow. And then, you know, she's on my bed all the time. In that same position, so but her hair is so fantastic. Okay, let me move this little baby girl a little bit over here, Mama C. Girl, be right back with you. So little Amira is going to be wearing. She needs to get out of this outfit, guys. Let me take this. I hope I don't wake her. So little Amira is going to be wearing this little dress. It's very pretty. It's like the mint green or like that very pale green. I don't know what green it is, guys. You know, I don't know my colors. It has like these little uh, specks um, of the material all over it, like little dots, and you can feel them. And it has a little bow, and it's like a double, double layered dress with ruffles in the bottom. And then it has a matching little diapers with the same little... Uh, 3d i'm gonna say dots all over it and then i'm going to give her these little green socks they are uh, the same color green that um settle mint green and then they have little white dots little white polka dots all over the top and then they have um we're gonna give a okay why do i only have one shoe here we're gonna give her there we go here we go we're gonna make it work. We're gonna give her these little white shoes. And I figured I just picked up this little um star, sparkly star, and it has like this little tool and it's green as well. Same green. So she's gonna be greened out today. Okay. That's what we're gonna give Amira. Amira's been waiting for an outfit change forever. She is a the 
Alexa Marie asleep. I believe there was only like, I think it was either 200 or 500 to the addition. I think it was 200 to the addition. And um, she's the same as my Chunkamanka. Same, same, same scope. But she's my little Asa No Flake. She's my little white girl. She my little snow bunny. I think I told you guys before my um my older son he he um he used to go out with this a beautiful a beautiful I mean she was stunning she was um she was a Russian girl um when he was in college <laughs> she was uh, absolutely freaking gorgeous this girl was she looked like I think she looked um she kind of like reminds me of Snow White because of her. her skin was so so pale but she um she had like um almost like the same color hair like um amira has but she had like the almost just like amira actually like you know she had like the rosy cheeks and the um very um rosy lips and she was just so naturally a gorgeous this girl and um my son used to call her um his little snowflake <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's be like yeah yeah he's like mommy you know your son likes to play in the snow sometimes and i'm like hey the snow was fun <laughs> but yeah uh, when i um uh, when i um seen her for some reason she kind of like reminds me of that beautiful russian girl that he dated yeah my son does not discriminate he's with a gorgeous gorgeous um Indian girl now. She is absolutely freaking amazingly beautiful, but she's a crazy bitch. Oh my gosh. That crazy girl. That girl's crazy. She is. She's so a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Did I tell you? But she has low self-esteem and she doesn't, she has uh, problems. Like she doesn't see herself beautiful or something. I don't know. She's just crazy. She be spazzing out and just catching these stupid fits like honestly at this point my son needs to get the fuck away from her he really does but he is a grown man he is um my son is 34 oh shit is he yeah he's 30 freaking four. Oh my gosh my son is 34 years old so you know he's just gonna do what he's gonna do he's gotta figure his own life out there comes a time, um, there comes a point in time, guys, that you, you know, you just can't, all you could do is, um, support your kids and, you know, guide them and just, you know, they gotta do what they gotta do. It's not, it's out of your hands, you know? So, yeah, that's that. But I, I, she's just crazy. She's just really, 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 really crazy. And the one thing, um, going back to the baby situation, the one thing that I'm glad is, is that she doesn't, she's not looking to, she knows she's not stable to have any children at this time. And my son, my oldest son really doesn't want no babies at all. Not from her, not from anybody. Um, he says this is a cruel world, which is true. This is a very cruel world. And I don't know, I don't think that we, um, I don't think that this is a good, it's, that it's good to kind of like raise, you know, children now in these days. It's just a cruel world. It's just a very different world and it's super overpopulated. And it's, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, but um, it is what it is. I mean, you know, to each his own, it's not, it's not for me. I would, I will only be a, a part-time grandmother, you know, if, if it ever comes that um, I will be, you know, dealing with children again. As far as being a grandmother or anything like that, I would definitely be a part-time grandmother. I, I don't think I, um, you know, gonna, I go, gonna like jump into it and dive into it. Like, oh my gosh, I'm crazy about them. Like, I'll be crazy about them, but from a distance, guys, from a distance, you know. Sometimes these, um, this generation of, of, um, this generation, they just raise their kids differently, you know. They just let them do a crazy type of stuff like cry and not I don't know I don't know it's just different world so 
I want to just, you know, be out here just, um, of course, like, if I have to, like, babysit or anything like that, I wouldn't mind that at all, of course, because I wouldn't really, like, want, um, I really wouldn't want my, my grandbaby being babysat by, you know, especially at a young age when they can't, um, talk and they're very easily manipulated to, like, you know, I mean, it, it, it's a crazy world, guys. We gotta protect our, we gotta protect our young ones. So, um, I would definitely wouldn't mind doing that. See, so now I sprayed her hair, and then when I put her down, then her hair would get kind of messed up because of the wet. Let me see. Put it down gently. She has absolutely beautiful hair. And let me see if we could figure out this bow let's see Oop. oh my goodness you look like you look like a little movie star now oh my goodness this baby's so pretty and guys this is a baby that i bought from claudia o'neill like i was i i did on my bit my other video just went up a little while ago I don't know how long this one's going to post, but I think the video under this one, it's a comparison video of my Yannick and my um, to Tobias scope. And the Yannick I bought from Claudia O'Neill. And this baby I bought from Claudia O'Neill. And um, I was saying in that video how she has like such, um, such um, great taste for art. For, you know, like the, she has that eye for um high-end dolls like she really knows a really well painted high-end um doll and i bought this baby from her and this baby is absolutely stunning and it's absolutely high-end she is like her she's textured her veining her modeling she's um she's rosy just the right amount and in the right amount of places so this baby's art is fantastic, okay? Fantastic. She's so well done. She's You can tell just by looking at her and um, that she's... I mean, I don't know what the camera shows, but if you see her in person, you can absolutely tell that she's a high-end baby. But, um, yeah, guys, she's looking really, really cute in her little outfit. Guys, I have picked out this outfit for her and didn't get around to it. But I have picked out this outfit for her for um, quite a quite a bit now. As you can see, it's more like a summery kind of vibe. But she stays on my bed, and you know she looks absolutely stunning. And um, yeah, this is her little um, lovey that Claudia sent her home with. That I love, love, love the way she looks with it because she's my little snow bunny. You know, she's the little snowflake, so she needs a little snow bunny. There we go. There you go, guys. Isn't she stunning? So yeah, guys, that's uh, that's uh, your um, that's my video for today. That's your little niece. Um, and guys, thank you so much for giving me your time, um, and your support. I love you guys so much. Happy a rest of your week. I will come back again. I'm gonna try to actually do another video maybe later on. I do want to change my triplets so bad, my b boys. Um, Brayden, Bruce, and Bryce. I really want to um, change them. Um, I don't know if it's going to be today, but I, if anything, I'll do it later on. I love you guys so much. And guys, you know how I end my videos. Always God first, guys. Always. If you, ain't, if you don't have God in your life, you're going to have them when you cross over. Because we're all going to go the same route. If you are born, you will have an expiration date. And you better be prepared, guys. We got to prepare our souls. We got to prepare our lives. You know, we got to do right here so that when we cross over, we could get it right, you know, because it's going to be another journey. When we cross over, you're not just going to be, you know, gone, done, period. No, our souls continues, okay? And um, we got we to gotta do right, guys. We got to do right, okay? So, guys, keep God first. Say a prayer. Be thankful. Be grateful, guys, and be kind to one another, guys. Okay, it's about our. It's about our um doing good and doing right. All right. So, I love you guys so much, and thank you once again. And I'll see you very soon. I love you guys. Bye.